Hello and welcome to Web Math Academy, where this week we're going to show you how to put a Python program into your T Inspire graphics calculator. We're going to use the same program we worked with last week, which was how to determine Newton's roots approximation. And that program is shown up here on your right. If you remember, it's just 19 lines long. Uh, and that's what we're going to input into the calculator and get the same results that we got last week. Uh, I'm going to show you this same program in a little bit different mode. Uh, it looks much longer, but all it has is these hashtags, which stands for comment. And I've written comments into every part of this program to give you an idea of what that part of the program does and uh, for you to refer back to it at any time. Okay. To add a Python program into our calculator, we go over to the menu key and we type A for a add Python. Then we type 1 for new. Uh, and then the name of our program, I'm just going to call it Newton, but you can call it whatever you want. If you happen to have student solutions so that you can use the Inspire calculator on your computer, it's a lot easier to type in the program because you can use your computer keyboard to do so rather than the uh, keyboard that comes with the calculator. Blank program, that's the one we'll be using. Click OK. Uh, and there we have a blank Python program document, and you can tell it's Python because it has the py after the newton after the period. To begin our program we're going to define our function and its derivative and to do that we're going to head over to menu and over here you'll see all kinds of modules that you can put in for the program. We're going to look at built-ins first and then function and in here our define com function parameter. So we're going to click one for that and it's going to come up with a define function and an argument. And we're just going to put in there exactly what we have over here, define f of x. So hit f over here, and then tab x, and then tab again. And it's going to indent the next line. That's where we're going to put our return function. And you can actually just return that with your keyboard, and then type in the equation that we're using. Uh, we're going to use the A, B, C, and D coefficients that we're going to ask the user for in just a bit. And then we're going to multiply it by x to the third, then x squared, then x. In Python, you have to put a multiplication sign between any two variables or coefficients. So you can't just have 3x plus 2. You have to 3 times x plus 2. And to raise x to like a third power, you need to add two asterisks. Uh, now Python is, or uh, your T-Inspire calculator is good for that because when you hit the exponent sign, it automatically puts out the two asterisks for the program. So let's let's uh, type that in right now. And I'm going to use my computer keyboard, which is uh, a little faster here. But you should know that your T-Inspire calculator keyboard works exactly the same. So there we have it. Now, now the derivative is put in the same way, and we've just used uh, regular standard calculus to determine that equation. And you can change uh, either of these, the function of the derivative, to uh, work with higher order equations, you know, like x to the 5, x to the 6, or to use trigonometric functions, uh, sines and cosines. Uh, so Python is able to do any of those for you. Uh, next, we're going to ask for the coefficients from the user. Uh, the first line we have is print, enter the coefficients of your function over here. Uh, when you're printing, you always use parentheses. And then in it, if you want to uh, put a, a string of letters in, you put them in quotation marks. You can also use single quotation marks as long as you use the same on both sides. Then we're going to put in the inputs for our coefficients. And the function we use for that is input. Uh, and then you see we have a float in front of each one. This is because when you put an input into Python, it automatically thinks of it as a string of characters and numbers uh, such as right here, this, your first guess to the root approximation. It's just a string of letters to Python. It doesn't mean anything. And it's the same thing with a number. When we're asking from a number for a uh, user, Python just interprets that as a string, kind of like a, a PDF file where the numbers and the letters don't mean anything, but they're just there on the page. 
In order to get it to think of it as a number, you have to put float or integer in front of it. Integer would be abbreviated INT. Uh, we want float because we want people to be able to put in decimals if they want for their coefficients. So that's why we ask for the, the float of each one of these coefficients. After we put that in, we ask one final thing, and that is enter your first approximation. What is the user's first guess as to how close to the com um, approximation that you would like to get? Uh, and that, I'm going to type these things into your program on the left here, and then we'll uh, get right back to you. Now that we've obtained the user input for the program, there is one thing I wanted to bring your attention to that I forgot to, and that is these string of characters here is U00B3 and B2. Those are the unicodes for the superscript 3 and the superscript 2, so that when it asks the user for those values, it'll show up on the page as x to the third or x squared. The final thing we have to do before entering our program loop is set aside some initial conditions. Those are over here. Our iteration is going to equal 1, how close equals 1, and precision equals 1 times 10 to the negative ninth. These values will become clearer when we actually run them in the program. Uh, but I'll tell you just two things I want to show you now is that there's an underscore here between how and close. This is because Python does not like empty spaces unless it's in a print format. Uh, and so if you are going to have a space, you should put an underscore in it. The and the precision can be as large or as small as you want. In my case, I wanted it rounded to the nearest nine decimal digits. But again, you can have that to the nearest integer or to the nearest 36 decimal places, as close of an approximation as you want to get. I will type these in, and then we'll get back and start on our loop. OK, I've typed these in, and now it's time to get to the meat of our program. And that's going to be the program loop. And Python has several different loops you can choose, but in our case, we're going to use the while loop. While and how close, as long as how close is larger than our precision, what that means is as long as our precision is not as fine as we want it to be, and as long as our iteration is less than 100, that means it hasn't gone at least 100 times to try and get the root, because if it takes more than that, chances are something is not quite right. So to get a while in here, we actually go back to our menu built-ins just like before, only this time we're going to hit 2 for control and while it's down here, number 8. So simply hit the number 8 and the while comes up and in this position we're just going to type in what we have over here, how close and iteration. So we'll just type those now. How Remember the underscore for the space. Greater than precision and iteration it's less than 100. Now you also will notice that whenever you have a while uh, or any uh, like if or if else you always have a colon at the end of the line. Make sure that that's there. And then it's going to indent automatically the rest of the uh, lines of the program and that's very important to keep that indent for Python. Uh, so the first thing we're going to put right away is we're going to put our Newton's approximation formula x1 equals x minus fx divided by f of dx that is the derivative. I will type that in now, x1 equals x minus f of x divided by ft of x. And then we're going to calculate our how close value to see if it's close enough to our precision. And to do that, we're going to use the abbreviation ABS for absolute value. So I will type that in now. Uh, and then it's determined as values already, so we're just going to print out the result. Print. Remember in parentheses, and then remember also in quotation marks. For the string value. And then iteration, we want it to type that out. And then our answer, I'm going to type round, and I'm going to round it to the nearest eight decimal places. So you can use round to do that again to get whatever value you want as far as how precise you want it to be. Uh, and then we just reset our values. We have x equal x1 and iteration plus 1. 
and that plus equal sign just means iteration is iteration plus one. And that's it. Now it's just going to keep going through back from iteration plus one. It's going to cycle back to while and go through the uh, whole procedure again uh, until either of these values are met, either the how close precision or iteration less than 100. Okay, I just wanted to bring to your attention, I had a little typo here on the printing line. I had, uh, I have here x comma 8, that should actually be x1 comma 8. Uh, that'll give you a better result. Uh, to run the program, it's just one more step. Go over here to menu, hit number 2 for run, and we want to check the syntax of the program because that'll be the first thing that goes wrong uh, when we try to run it if there's a problem. So hit 2 for that. And in this case, Newton Python was saved successfully. That means we didn't have any syntax errors. There might be some other errors, but nothing in the syntax. So let's go ahead and run the program. We go back to menu, back to run again. And this time we go run, number one. And here we are. All of a sudden, enter the coefficients of your functions, just like we typed in. And there's that nice superscript three that we have with that Unicode code. Uh, and we're gonna use that same function that we used in our previous lessons, uh, 0.1x squared minus 1. So that being the case, x3, the coefficient for that will be 0. Coefficient for x squared will be 0 0.1. Coefficient for x will be 0. And the coefficient for single digits will be minus 1. Enter. And we're also going to do that first approximation. We'll use 10. That's also like we used last time. And there's a problem. But this is actually great news because almost always when you're programming with Python or any other language, there'll be some sneaky little problem in there that uh, won't jump right out at you and you'll have to go and explore and see what exactly you did wrong. To do that, we just go back to our program and we see if there's actually two errors. The first one is on our derivative, uh, 3x squared. That should actually be 3 times a times x squared. That would be the proper derivative. Uh, and then there's another problem down here. Our how close equals absolute value x minus x1, except there's not an equal sign here. There's a minus sign. So that should be changed to equals. And then we go back to our menu again. Run. Check syntax and save. Save successfully. So we'll go ahead and run the program again and see if we have any problems this time. Okay, x cubed will be 0, x squared will be 0 0.1, x will be 0, and 1 single digits will be minus 1. And 10 will be your first approximation. And there we go. Excellent. That is the same result we obtained in last week's uh, tutorial. So we are done. This is the program. You can use it as much as you want. You can change it as much as you want. Uh, and I hope that you've uh, enjoyed learning a little bit about Python programming with your T-inspired calculator.